What is up guys? Welcome to another build walkthrough. A while back, I was really addicted to building bunkers. I don't know what it was about bunkers, but bunkers were a super cool idea because it was not supposed to be in The Sims. I had a lot of fun building things using your own imagination and trying to make items work in your build instead of having the item be what it is. And I'll show off a few items in here that I did do for that. But this is a brand new bunker build. We just did a hotel build. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. But at the end of it, I was talking about how much I really enjoy the bunker build I've done. So I want to do a walkthrough and kind of show it off to you guys. So right at the start, it's all underground, of course. I would never imagine a bunker being above ground. So we end up building a basement-like thing, kind of like what they did for Strangeville. They have the plane system, and then you kind of go into the basement there. So same idea. But this one is its own individual room. We built it all behind barbed wire to create kind of a, a separation from the real world. In the main entrance, we have a little stowaway here. We're going to kind of decontaminate from whatever's going on. So if there's a bunker and there's something that's going on in the real world that's kind of destroying everything, you're probably going to need to decontaminate. So we did a two-door system, an airlock, if you will. You have a little shower to try and get you all cleaned up. And then we have a couple fire alarms, which we're kind of pretending are sensors. And then we have some hand sanitizer. We have obviously a camera to see who's coming in and out from uh, up here in this bunker. And then you go in. So right off the bat, you're going to go in. These are two air filters, which I'm kind of imagining being a way to regulate the air inside the system, inside the base. So let's go on down. And I love this build. We did a really good job with clutter in this build which is something i don't feel like i do that great with yet but here we did an awesome job so if you look around everything's very much filled in it feels very busy it feels very alive it feels lived in making something feel lived in i always have an issue doing but this feels so lived in to me so we have a few different areas here if you look to our left we have a what i would consider a kids arts and craft area Kind of filled in with some some stuff, some papers. You get it. A couple things hanging on the wall. If I had kids, I'd want stuff hanging on the world walls. Right below that poster board on that wall is a list of books that we got out of the debug menu, which was a lot of fun collecting and kind of looking at. Right here, right on that bookshelf, we got some books displayed. On the ground, we got a little bit of clutter. And then on the table is a wide variety of items from... Uh, paintings that kids would do to a handful of books to a uh, system of stacked boxes underneath we're using the cats and dogs newspaper on the ground then if you go to the right we kind of got this really filled in area of a living space a little crate that they're using as a table covered in dishes and two old school like old school couch and chair kind of looks worn down same as the tv stand on that tv stand we use the antenna from the agent's career i believe and then on that wall we actually use gutters so what we end up doing to make wires we we use gutters so we end up taking gutters we size them down and then we threw them on the wall and we place multiple on top i think that's three separate gutters and i love that look because if you were to have wires or some sort of wiring in your house there's no system for that yet there's no wires on the wall so we end up making our own way with the gutters there coming over here we end up making the ground dirt so because we're in the basement i believe we just dug the ground out and we use the debug menu once again to place a couple trees these are cherry trees but you can imagine them being any tree you want we ended up using these lights and the lights lights are pretty cool it was kind of to give them some sort of sunlight if you will moving on over into the kitchen this is what kind of took me a while here this uh this ca this not countertop well the counter too but the shelving here so it's a lot of different packages that we moved up and down with uh, pay, not page up, page down with the brackets, I believe, or is it nine and zero? One of those. And we started moving them all up and trying to get them perfectly placed. We found a lot of just random items that you would find in that. We even found a mop, which I don't know where the mop's from. I'm assuming the mop's from cleaning up a puddle, but we found it in the debug menu. We got some wood underneath because I'm assuming that's a wood burning stove. Once again, we use the, uh, the gutters there to try and create wires up into the roof. We use that old school sink. I believe that's from laundry day and some knives on the wall. If you 
just come over here, we have storage. And for the storage, we ended up bringing it out of the room. Instead of just stacking it all inside the room, we kind of made it feel like there wasn't enough room in this bunker. It's it's very compact. We, we couldn't find enough space. So we brought that out of the room as well. And it, we downsized a lot of these. So these, I believe, are four slots. But in this, they're like... It's still, they, I think technically they still take up four slots, but it kind of looks like they take up one instead. A lot of stuff. We ended up bringing these books from the ground, lifting them up. We have the hamsters because I had to make sure I got my first pet stuff in there. The best pack they've ever made. The best stuff pack ever. My first pet stuff, make sure to buy it. So we got the <laughs> hamster from that. I said that with a little too much confident, confidence. Don't, don't buy it. Don't buy it. And here we have a little bit of shelving and the old school broken toilet. I believe you can make that. It's it's if you make it on the crafting table. It's a wooden toilet if you make a bad wooden toilet, I believe. Got some stuff on the wall. Once again, that sink. We got some hand sanitizer. And then over here is one of our bedrooms. We ended up making the bedrooms pretty cool. So we did bunk beds in the room. I couldn't really figure out a frame, but we did lift the beds off the ground to kind of simulate what a bunk bed would it be. Technically, they are actually usable. A sim can sleep in both those. It's kind of cool. The arms go a little wonky when they climb in, but, uh, but they can sleep in that technically. Not that this is supposed to be lived into any extent. It's just supposed to be a fun building experience. We have a coat hanger in here to kind of hang your coats when you lay down. We got a mirror. This is supposed to kind of be a, a fancier, cleaner room. We got a boxer on a painting, which is very cute. Some stuff on the walls. And then over here, we use the closet decorations, I believe. There's closet decorations. And we use that to kind of fill up the entire wall and give you a place for your stuff. Then we stack some chairs. Those are just interchanged chairs. So we kind of spun them and kind of stacked them. And I think that is our entire build. Obviously the walls are concrete and kind of dirty. We got some graffiti on the walls to kind of make it feel worn in. The bathrooms has a brick style and the ground over here is hard concrete with rugs. They're trying to create some sort of coziness and what would otherwise be an uncozy build. So there you go. I would love to see your guys' creations. If you do consider making a bunker, I, I know with StrangerVille, they just had a lot of cool bunker items. If you do make one, send it my way. Tweet at me, tweet me, take a couple screenshots, tweet the pictures at me, send me a DM. My DMs are open, I'd love to see them. Thank you everyone so much for watching though. Please look down below, hit that follow, hit that like button, make sure to comment. Uh, subscribe button. There we go. And share the video with your friends. I really appreciate the viewership and support. I hopefully will catch you next episode. Check out all the items as we continue heading for YouTube partnership. I'll see you guys.